Some say it's a symptom of manliness, others a cause, the mustache. I'm Nick Offerman. You may know me from Parks and Recreation, or simply as the reason you want to grow one of these. Last year I told you how to begin your Movember journey. This year, we're gonna look back. These are great moments in mustache history. We begin in ancient Babylonia, where the first known portrait of a mustache was discovered. Note the horseman being pulled from his mount and pleasured to death by a horde of concubines. Flash forward to the 17th century, where hairless upstart Oliver Cromwell exiles King Charles II out of, dare I say, jealousy. On safari with Vice President Fairbanks, Teddy Roosevelt's mustache subdues a charging rhino. Chef Boyardee reveals the secret to his pasta sauce is a single strand of his lip hair in every batch. Salvador Dali accidentally dips his mustache in formaldehyde. Surrealist art is born. Frida Kahlo makes the mustache sexy again. Charles Bronson. John Oates and his sister, Daryl, record Man Eater, history's manliest pop song about eating men. Mario and Luigi restore monarchy to the Mushroom Kingdom. 30 Australians rally together to grow mustaches for the month of November, renaming it Movember, laying the groundwork for what was to become the greatest men's health movement in the world. Which brings us to present day where in an age of PEDs, manscaping, and tofu bacon, the mustache is needed now more than ever. Sign up now at Movember.com. But in the spirit of awareness, I wanted to offer a few simple ideas of my own that can help a novice grow a full and thicker mustache. Hammer and nail. Send a regular handwritten letter 